Hey guys, what you're looking at is my uh, messenger bag. Uh, we've had some recent earthquakes in the Philippines and uh, I've watched a lot of people's video when they're evacuating like their buildings and it's really important in the Philippines and really anywhere to have a bag uh, packed and ready to go. And in the Philippines, when I'm traveling, I like to take this messenger bag. Uh, especially if it's like a one or two night thing. Um, basically, I have a change of clothing in here. I'm going to go through uh, some of the features of this bag and uh, what I like to have ready to go at any given moment. But <clears throat> this is made by Travelon. And if you just search Travelon and then look at messenger bags, you'll, you'll probably be able to find this on Amazon or, or somewhere online. It's a security bag. So... The um, strap has cables that run through it, so it's very difficult to cut. It's also like a, a wire mesh built in down here, uh, so it's hard to cut the bottom of the bag. The zippers, um, they have clips, so you can clip them. So they have to be, it's difficult to unclip them to get the bag open. Um, also, if it's unzipped, it's got Velcro on it, so it kind of holds it shut. It just kind of naturally falls shut and stays that way. Um, it's got a water bottle holder over here. And our water, we when we go on a trip or we go anywhere, um, we freeze it. And then it thaws. Um, if it's here, it thaws fairly quickly. And that'll be the first water we'll drink. And then uh, we also take like a liter in an insulated container that's frozen. That thaws much slower. And then here's another uh, smaller bottle in an insulated container. So we like to get our water um, where it thaws at different rates. So we always have enough water to drink and it's always cold. Um, we took a recent trip to Singapore and I kept my um, uh, airline ticket right here. When I was in a hurry, I'd stuff my passport in here and then just I could zip it up real quick. Also, when I was on the plane, it was really easy to access my cell phone here. And also, this is kind of, I keep this up in front of me, so it's very difficult to, uh, to steal that phone. It's, it, it would be harder here than in my pocket. This phone is maybe 5,000 pesos, about 100 US dollars, maybe a little bit more, uh, not much. It's a ruggedized phone, um, so it's waterproof and shockproof and things like that. Um, I don't carry a very expensive cell phone here because uh, I just look at it as a tool that could get stolen. It could get wet. It could get um, destroyed. Um, and so I don't recommend carrying a very expensive phone here. When you open this bag up, it's got a lot of pockets in here, and um, I'll keep it open here. This pocket is a mesh pocket, so you can see everything in there. Anything small, it's kind of a catch-all type pocket. Nice zipper on the top. I keep like a toothbrush and uh, chargers and any medications and some band-aids and things like that up there. Um, pen holder uh, down here. This is another zipper pocket. I usually will keep money down here. Um, bigger denominations down here. Um, I don't like to travel with a lot of money, but if I have any bigger money, it will go down here. My small money goes in here and goes in my pocket usually. I always have less than a thousand in this, this container. It's easy to hold the change. I put the bills in here. I don't, this is what's probably going to get stolen out of my pocket, so I never carry much in there. Uh, we have a pocket Wi Fi. That, that, um, these are like 1200 pesos, they're smart, uh, LTE. Um, they work pretty well. Um, and then rather than every phone, like if my wife and I are going, we don't need to have our phones both hooked up to Wi Fi, we just hook this up and, and um, use the Wi Fi off that. Passport holder, credit card holder here, and those are, uh, protected from being scanned. This is a protective, uh, what do they call that? Uh, anyways, it keeps it 
uh, so they can't scan through that and get your numbers. Um, in the Philippines, you'll see a lot of people with uh, umbrellas, and that's to protect them from the heat. Um, we ride a scooter a lot of the times, and if I have a breakdown, I want to have a. I definitely want to have an umbrella, um, whether it's for rain or from the sun. If I need to work on a motor and I have no shade, you know, we've got an umbrella. I can get under that. Have the wife hold that while I mess with the scooter, and uh, and so I recommend uh, having an umbrella with you really at all times. Um, I was on a motor coach or a, a bus one time. And the kid was vomiting and, you know, vomited on the, the person sitting beside them. And so I always thought it's, it'd be good to have always have an extra, at least a shirt, if not, you know, a full set of clothing. So I like to keep a, an extra pair of shirts. Um, I also have, uh, because it doesn't take much room, I have underwear. And then I usually keep like a long sleeve shirt. So if I get a little bit cold on a, on a bus, which they keep them pretty cold. Um, I can put this on. Um, also, if I need protection from the sun, I can put this on. It covers my arms. So uh, having a long sleeve, I usually wear short, uh, like a t-shirt. Um, all of the clothing I wear in the Philippines is uh, the quick drying. Um, I, I usually go to Walmart and buy something that's like the, you know, the new fabrics that dry very quickly. Um, and I recommend that in the Philippines. We, if if you're wearing it and it's and you, and you get sweaty, you, you can dry out quicker. But also, if you have to wash clothes, launder clothes, like at a hotel, they dry by the next morning. Um, I carry hand sanitizer because a lot of times you get yourself in a situation where you have to use the bathroom and there's no running running water. Um, you'll you'll just get yourself in a lot of situations. There's so many people here touching railings and different things you're jumping in and out of duties you're going to want hand hand sanitizer i i believe um i also carry a battery bank uh, uh yeah battery bank um and this is because if you have a brownout that you didn't expect and your cell phone's about dead you know you got mega power here um always keep this charged it holds the charge very well it's always ready for an emergency and I, then I can charge up my cell phone uh, 10 or 12 times. I don't remember how many times, but um, it ch charges the cell phone a lot of times. Uh, there's a folder uh, pocket back here. I will usually slide in my uh, tablet back here. Um, sunscreen. I bring sunscreen from the States. It's cheaper in the States, so I usually bring in, the, plus you can buy huge quantities there. So. I, I always bring over lots of sunscreen. Um, I forgot this time to bring a small bottle. I, you need to get a, a small bottle of sunscreen like that and then just keep refilling it. But you don't want to have to buy that here. That's expensive. And so I recommend bringing that with you. And then uh, this is very important. Take a roll of toilet paper that's used up mostly. And I carry toilet paper and a uh, little bit of soap. Um, I have hardly had needed this, but <laughs> when you need it, you need it. So I always try and have it. And that's about all I have in there right now. But I just want to give you an idea what uh, this messenger bag will hold. Yeah, I roll uh, my clothing to try and you know get everything to fit. And uh, this is what this is the minimum I would recommend having ready to go. Um, always have some money. Um, you know, if you have a brownout or you have an earthquake, you may not have access to cash, and it may be a week or two. So you need to have enough cash on you at all times. You need to have, think redundancy in the Philippines. You want to have, uh, like, look, when we travel, and let's say we're taking 6,000 pesos, I will have 3,000, my wife will have 3,000, the small bills will be in here. Um, I will also have a credit card, at least one, if not two. Uh, my wife has an ATM card that we take. Um, I can also send myself money online uh, or to my wife uh, from my bank account in the States. Um, you you want to always think redundancy in the Philippines. You, you never want to get yourself down to the point where you don't have much money. You always want to be thinking worst case scenario. Um, in the Philippines, we have uh, volcanic activity. We have earthquakes, which is probably the biggest thing that can, like, ruin your day. We have typhoons. 
uh, potential tsunamis. We have mudslides if you're in the, in the mountains when it's raining. Um, there's flooding. Um, there could potentially be civil unrest, depending where you're at in the Philippines and what's going on. Uh, we're coming up on election time right now, but you know that's uh, you just never know here. So um, you always want to be extra prepared. You know, I spent a lot of time up in Alaska, and uh, that that's you know taught me to always be prepared. Um, I used to, I've traveled in places where there's no one to help you. Here you have people that can help you, but if you don't have money, nothing's going to get done, basically. So, just wanted to go over that with you guys and give you some ideas. You know, I when I do these videos, I, I, I don't want to, like, uh, be preaching to you, this is what you must do. This is just to spark ideas and to give you some uh, uh, something to start with and you, you can come up with your own um, system for traveling here. Um, highly recommend the, the, the dry clothing uh, that you get at Walmart. It's like the, the athletic clothing. Uh, it's wicking. It gets the moisture away from your body. And I highly recommend a security bag. Um, another thing I've carried before is the, the, uh, the necklace, the, the, the neck wallets. Those work really well. Um, and yeah. Just wanted to give you guys some some ideas here, so hopefully you can take something from it. If you just take one or two ideas or something you hadn't thought about, that that's, that makes it worth your while, I guess. So uh, if you like my videos, I hope you'll subscribe um, and like them and uh, share them. So thanks a lot, guys. I'll try and get another video out soon. Take care. God bless.